आफ्टर द पेंडेमिक वी हैव बिकम मोर कॉशियस एंड मोर अवेयर अबाउट एनी डिजीजेस एंड दिस टाइम वी आर हियरिंग द न्यूज ऑफ बोबोनिक प्लेग एंड आफ्टर द पेंडेमिक द वर्ल्ड हैज लर्न दैट इट्स बेटर टू बी प्रिपेयर अर्लियर देन वी हैव टू फेस लेटर हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द इन फोकस सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस माई नेम इज रितु एंड टूडे सेशन इज अबाउट बोबोनिक प्लेग Why we are discussing this particular topic? We'll discuss in the new session. Moving towards the points of discussion part. First of all, we are going to discuss the news. Then we are going to discuss what is bubonic plague. Then symptoms. Then also the impact of Black Death because it is also considered as a Black Death. And then practice question for prelims. So moving towards the news part. So what had happened that in US there is a place called Oregon. in that place a particular disease or particular case of bubonic plague has been registered and this has been registered after the year 2005 and this has created much awareness and much furore among the social media and so many scientists and so many people are discussing about the bubonic plague and they are saying that the history should not be repeated because that history was very black in nature and that's why it is called as black death so because of that we have taken this news and it's very important to discuss about the bubonic plague because this can be come to your prelims examination so that's why we are discussing this particular topic and when this plague has been started so the plague has been at their boom point or at their peak point uh, between the 1346 to 1353 and this uh, particular plague has killed around 50 million people in the europe and that's why it is known as the black death so there are many theories related to the black death so many people are saying that because of this bubonic plague a marks on our body that is black in color left and because of that it is called as the black death on the other hand so many people and so many historians had suggested that you know it's not because of the clinical symptoms we call this particular disease as a black death it's because of the emotional trauma and so much happening and most of the villages most of the cities uh, got wasted because of this particular bubonic plague so that's why this is called as the black death so there are many theories uh, related to the black death that why it is called as the black death moving to the uh, next uh, slide which is uh, what is bubonic plague so it is a caused by a bacteria named ersinia pestis and it is a zoonotic disease it means that it transferred from animals to the people so it is called as a zoonotic disease and it is basically transmitted from small animals and their fleas and uh, what are the methods for the infection that in which method we can get this bubonic plague the first is the the bite of the infected vector fleas and also unprotected contact with the infectious bodily fluids or contaminated materials and the third is the inhalation of respiratory droplets in small particles from the patients with the pneumonic plague plague so that's why because of all these reasons the plague is infectious in nature because the small droplets can infect other people if you are sneezing if you are doing anything and if you are a plague patient then might be you can transmit your disease to another person so it is highly transmitted and highly infectious in nature so this is a brief intro about the bubonic plague moving to the next slide so next slide is about that what are the symptoms we have related to the bubonic plague so basically what happened that it generally attack the lymph nodes and there are three types of the bubonic plague the first is the bubonic plague and the second is the septomatic and the third is a pneumonic so each have a different kind of the symptoms so according to the united states center for disease control uh, under the bubonic plague it can cause fever headache weakness painful swollen lymph nodes and usually happens from the bite of an infected flea so this is the symptoms of the bubonic plague coming to the second one which is a septomatic plague so it uh, happens when the bacteria enters the blood stream so here the lymph nodes is affected and here the blood stream is affected and what are the uh, symptoms we have so abdominal pain shock a uh, bleeding into the skin and the blackening and appendix most often fingers toes and the nose so this is the symptoms of septicemic uh, plague 
Then we have also the third, which is pneumonic. As the name suggests, so it impacts your lungs and that creates a problem. So these are the different kind of the plagues and these are the symptoms we have. But generally, bubonic plague is so much of popular because of its catastrophic nature. So uh, generally, they ask the symptoms of this plague. So it is fever, headache, weakness, painful, swollen lymph nodes. So it is the symptoms of the bubonic plague. Moving to the next one. Next one is about what the what was the impact of the Black Death. So, uh, as Black Death does not have just clinical impact, it has also social, cultural and historical impact. Coming to the first death, what is the clinical impact it has impacted? So, uh, the what had happened that uh, because of the Black Death and because of the plague, we can see that more than 60% of the European population was vacant because of the this particular thing. But there is also, you can say, a highlight about this plague impact that the 40% fittest immunity can be traced because of this particular black death. And the best immunity can be traced into this period. But it has also created another kind of the problem and it has created 700 autoimmune kind of the disease because your immunity gets lost and because of that you might develop another kind of the disease. So these are the impacts we have and might be the 700 years these uh, particular disease can be impacted uh, today also because autoimmune disease has been spread and might be it can impact your today's uh, future also. So these are the impact we have uh, related to the uh, black death. Uh, coming to the uh, what the socio-economic and cultural impact. So, so many historians have written uh, different tales about the social, cultural and one historian also called it a great divergence and why it is called as a great divergence because it has uh, bring what a shift and that shift can be seen from the people's lifestyle. People were more aware about their health and also people started savings. People also started uh, spreading these kind of information through their cultural activities and social life is also affected because if there is a rumor related to any village or any particular persons, so the social relation affected to that particular village and particular person. So in that way, the plague is has not impacted clinically. It has also impacted the emotionally, mentally, physically to the people. So moving to the another slide, which is the practice question for prelims. And there is a lot of debate that can, should we worried about for black death now. So, so many scientists and according to the historians, we have analyzed this fact that, you know, we should not worry about the transmission of plague uh, right now, just like the pandemic we had uh, three to four years back. That was a new disease and we had not uh, much developed the immune system and also the vaccination system and things like that. But uh, with the related to the plague, we are much aware about this particular disease and we are also much uh, cautious about this particular disease. When this particular disease transmitted, people were not scientifically aware, they don't have clinical system and they don't know how to prevent themselves. But right now, the situation has been changed. We are more advanced in research and development and uh, the teams are working related to that, how to prevent the plague. And today, plague is a curable disease. So we should not worried, uh, worried about what we had worried in the 20th century, what we had worried 700 years ago, because at that time people were also superstitious, people don't know much about the science and technology, and we don't have much clinical facilities. But right now, we are away from all these things. So, we are very in a good position. So, that's why this is not a situation to worry about. And whatever the uh, cases we got in last 10 to 15 years, it all what we have seen that fatality rate is very low. Earlier, the fatality rate was more than 90%, but it is just 11% for now. So, this is the news about the plague. Coming to the question part. The question is, the plague is caused by, and these are the options you have. And I think we already had discussed what the bacteria caused the plague, and it is a zoonotic disease. So, you might be able to answer this very carefully in the comment section. I hope you like this session. If you have any queries related to this session, kindly ask in the comment section. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe 
and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.